Hello and welcome to the Shooting Outdoors channel. Welcome to episode 2 of the 2018 series which is looking at modifying pellets for air gun shooting. Tonight we're going to be collecting the, the data. So we've prepared the pellets already. It's been done a long time ago. We've got a relatively calm out, nice out here. It's a little bit blustery so let's see how we get on. Enjoy. It's a calm warm night over the beautiful Warwickshire countryside and we're going to make the most of it. I alone have permission to shoot on this land after hours tonight, so Tom's the golfer for tonight. And we think that the Skeet Arena at Cosford Shooting Grounds is the perfect spot to do this testing with its well-mown grass and private setting. We really do love coming up here and the investments that they're making to the Ergon Arm of the club. The battle plan for the trials is as follows. Shoot a lead-in and sighting five-shot group. This is so we get a feel for the conditions, range and the pellet drift. We want the pellet to be pushed downwind to try and negate any left or right shift in aim caused by the wind. But on a hill in the Midlands we expect some swirling winds. We can only control so much. After that we will shoot three 10 shot groups of control pellets, then three 10 shot groups of each variable. So 30 weighed pellets, 30 size pellets, 30 wash pellets, 30 Napier Power Pell lube pellets and 30 general purpose lube pellets. We decide mid-shoot to add an extra layer of controls pellets in there to balance out the control groups we're comparing against as I will naturally improve group on group. We charge the rifle to 190 bar and refill after every 60 shots to keep within the sweet spot. We're going to clean the barrel with two silicon sprayed pellets and one dry pellet after each lube group is shot. This trial is going to be a single variable only trial for this part of the series. We will later on in the series add variables to each other to get more rounded data. The aim of this is to see what combinations work together and the influence they have combined against the control groups. But for now, it's literally a case of which variable increases or reduces group size and by how much. Each group will be shot along a measured 60 yards to allow the groups to spread, yet still be inside the capability of Big Rita. The rifle and target post will not move. With Big Rita on it from the first pellet, we're seeing around a 1 inch shift to the left with perfect elevation. Happy days. Time to switch out the target and commence the testing. I load up the first 10 control pellets in the 10 shot mag and focus on the task at hand. Meanwhile, Tom's going to f about with his new toy so we can give you our very first montage. With the trial over and the targets laid bare, it's hard to tell what's worked and what hasn't. Certainly some have shown a visible result on one target of the set and others less so. Either way, we'll need to go home, get my nerd on and analyse it fully. So all that's left to do tonight is stay tuned for a discussion on the lube after the credits and fade out over the gorgeous Warwickshire countryside. Still, it's not a patch on Northumberland mind. So that's the end of episode two. We've shot our targets. We did an extra row of controls because the wind did drop quite a bit actually mm -hmm. towards the end. I'll say quite a bit, the, the blustering stopped. It just calmed down. So we shot two layers of control, one before, one after. There was other things for this that we sort of saw happening, which we didn't expect. These always happen. Yeah. You know, you can't always plan everything, but if you can adapt to it as you go, you can always sort of sort things out. So yeah, as nice. always, just like us on Facebook, do the whole share thing, Instagram, well, we don't know, you do Instagram, I just kind of try and run the Facebook. 
page. Stay safe, shoot straight. Watch you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. See, now I've cleaned the barrel, put some, as they are called, tampons through them, which is the French version, and we've put a dry one through, so two oiled ones, a dry one, which is what we did at the start of this trial. These power, Napier Power Pearl ones, and this is what kicked this whole thing off back in 2016 when I bought a bottle for a quid. Okay. And Shall I get the... So if these don't improve it by 50%, which generally because it says probably, or what does, it, what does it say? Independent tests. Independent tests. Almost, almost. Almost, that's it. Almost 50% accuracy. So <laughs> from what we've seen today, oh, it remains to be seen. So where's the target gun? It's there. We'll go four mil dots. with just power pill on them but first impression there wasn't too bad actually it, it, it's right right the hole about the size of that one there so yeah yeah it, it, there might be some truth in this yet i mean the thing is if you're going to pedal a product like that there's got to be a degree of truth to it isn't there? i mean there's no smoke without fire absolutely but i generally remain skeptical it's just kind of don't put that statement on there just sort of say it's not this will improve to a degree or something Earth is going on now. I think you might be coming up the barrel a bit. Really? Yeah. Mind you, saying that these these are just standing. This is the thing, right? And I don't know. Well, this is what we're doing it for, isn't it? Yeah. So these are standard JSB pellets with just a power pell lube on them. And I'll be honest with you. It's the only one so far. That wasn't too bad. I mean, the breeze has not really calmed down that much, has yeah. it? 
So, what will be interesting is just a general three in one. Mm. The next one. Yeah. That'll be the clincher. It does the same. It's just kind of like. Is it that black and white bottle? Yeah. Three in one. Yeah. It's the most general purpose one I could think of. Yeah. Okay, we're going to four mil watts. See, fire. So, developing into a nice little hole. Alright then, so clean out that barrel and go with the next one. Three in one. 